Welcome back, everyone. I am back with another helium miner, this time a Phi G miner. So this is from Freedom Phi, and this one will do both LoRaWAN coverage and also 5G mining. Now there's one caveat here. There is a CBRS radio that uh, should be coming with this. You can buy it as an additional attachment, but that is the part that you would need for the um, full capabilities of 5G mining on the Helium network. So I do not have that with me today. In this, in this video, I will unbox that at a later time. So this will be a, a sort of an incomplete, you know, part one, part two uh, series in, in unboxing. So we will go over basically just the, the, you can look at this as a standard helium miner right now, but with the capability to add the 5G later. So for now, it's just another LoRaWAN miner, but of course we'll have more fun later when the, when that uh, equipment arrives. Now this, uh, this miner is currently uh, selling from FreedomFi for, uh, I believe, $999. And um, that gives you, uh, you have to be on a wait list to get it. And um, a lot of times uh, they'll say, oh, you got that, you got that, those miners for free, or the, the YouTubers always get the, the miners first. And this uh, case is actually, this was my own money. I, I, I didn't uh, ask for it. I didn't get it, it, you know, sent to me for free. This was all my doing, and I was there right right when they announced the launch, and uh, I was actually, I think, number number nine on the list, so top 10 of, of minor uh, people that got the minor. So, and I've already seen on Twitter a couple other people who have gotten this already. So, enough with the jibber jabber, let's start unboxing. Let's check this out. So I'm doing a different setup for this, so I hope that this will work today. I'm excited about this too, so pardon the focusing here. We will get this right again, trying new things today. So, all right, so this is the Freedom Phi box, and it is basically, um, it's actually a pretty tall box. I would, I would, here's a pen for relative sizing. I should probably use the green one so it stands out from the background a little bit. So it's about the size of a pen, uh, tall and then wide, of course. There we go. And this came to me from, uh, I believe, Sunnyvale, California, and uh, it took only what, two, three days to get to get here. So very, very exciting. All right, so there's really nothing on this box for the most part. There's no, no, it's just white except for the top. And then on the bottom, there is um, a QR code and some uh, serial number information there. So pretty simple. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. It's always exciting. I tweeted out the other day. It's the, the feeling of onboarding a new miner that's yours is awesome. And I realize that some of you out there probably still haven't received your first miner. And that's kind of a bummer. Um, so I, I hear you out there. Hopefully all those miners are going to get out there real quick. But let's check this out. All right, so in the package we have the miner itself and then some uh, other foam packaging. And then down here looks like a, a mounting plate. So pretty simple, standard mounting plate. It is metal. Set that aside. And then there's three layers to this. <clears throat> so you have a power cable, standard computer power cable, and then power supply. Again, regular type just that you'd use for your laptop and such. And then, hey, this actually looks familiar. This looks like the, uh, and I don't have my OG miner on hand, but I'd love to compare the size because that looks like the original uh, antenna for the OG, Helium OG hotspot, the white one. It looks like a plate warmer. And then there's a bag with uh, some screws and, and such in here. 
I apologize about the focusing. I do have it on my upgrade list to get a new camera with that will set focus. So all those referrals and stuff that you click on really help upgrade the channel, the quality, microphones, all that kind of stuff. So here we are with a getting started and yeah, so it just says where to where to start, tells you what to use it for, and all that kind of stuff. And there's the front side of the miner. So we have WAN ENB1, ENB2, ENB3. And I have no idea what those are for. I wish I could, there we go. Oh, it focused on there so well, and then it lost it. So I apologize. Maybe I'll have to make some notes on that later. Okay, over here we have the uh, power intake, and then that's it. There's just a screw right here. Uh, looks, yep, to be for grounding. And then on the back side here, we have a power power button right here, USB, and console. And again, I don't know what all these do. Um, I assume that this is to your internet. Um, and then this would be on this side would be to all of your 5G equipment. So um, there's other same information about the QR code and uh, serial number here. Um, and that's it. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's a lot more beefy than um, I'd say the, uh, it, 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 well, same footprint probably as the Bobcat Miner, um, maybe a little bit smaller than the Nebra. Um, but as, as I remember, those are, are um, it's not, this is like maybe five pounds. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's really it for the Miner itself. It's fun, it's cool. I'm excited to turn this thing on, get it on board in. So let's uh, switch gears here and go to a um, the website and I'll cover these more in another video um, but I wanted to briefly cover the um, timeline for these uh, or say some some important things um, so the the um, when you're mining the 5g coverage uh, hip 27 is suggesting 50 cents per gigabyte so if you um, don't know how, how the helium improvements work, how helium improvement proposals, that's what HIP stands for, HIP 27. Um, when, when this is passed, then, then it's official. Um, but there's, uh, as these HIPs are, are proposed, then they're talked about and discussed uh, via a lot on the Helium Discord or on uh, GitHub as they're posted there. So um, now how this works is that it would be this 50 cents per gigabyte would be divided out, I believe, uh, among the proceeds. So, um, and that would be, there we go. So this is how the split would work. So out of that 100%, you'd see these percentages um, and the blue is the one we're after here. So the, right now, of course, we need coverage to legitimize the, the network. Um, and also to pay investors that are, are putting that money out. But then over time, we're gonna see the, the network data transfer. Of course, the network grows, and then we're gonna get a larger portion of that. So, I mean, that's approximately from what, five or 10% there all the way up to 80%. So we're looking at 70% of the network data transfer um, would, would uh, be rewarded. So, um, so you can think about if I'm doing my calculations right on that uh, 50 cents, you would get 70 to 80% of that um, after this period of time here. So you're gonna, it's gonna keep growing over time. So that, that takes care of that. Uh, check out the frequently asked questions on, on their site. This is some great information. It covers, um, you know, kind of helium technical stuff or helium stuff. And, you know, what, what do I, how much money am I going to make? Um, do I need this, that CBRS radio? And then um, I know nothing. What, where can I learn more? So there's helpful, helpful things all over the place here. All right. 
So um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is the deployment timeline here. So um, of course we're 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 at the tail end of September here, and they've had shipped it to reservation holders. So that's 500 to a thousand, and um, first data offload partner announced. So that was Gig Sky, if you remember correct correctly. Um, of course, uh, many people have never heard of Gig Sky, so. Uh, that's and and they kind of said you know they kind of came out and said right away that maybe no like very few would know about this first um, pro offload pr partner that's announced but then um, later on you'll see in here that they're they're going to announce a, a, a kind of a bigger well-known partner later on or at least that's what I've heard even colloquially so so when that uh, this miner obviously got shipped out to me, so we're still waiting on these indoor CBRS small cells. So that is what we need to actually do the 5G mining. So I'm I'm wondering if they, you know, how they're going to select these. Totally don't know. And they might look at locations. They they may just go to who ordered them first. I honestly don't know. Um, it, it doesn't give any details to that. Um, and then, uh, so this would be the time uh, of the 5G waitlist reopen for additional reservations. So I'm hoping by this point um, that, that we're gonna get some more orders and uh, cross my fingers and maybe making the request that there's an affiliate program here as for this unboxing, this is completely on my own. Uh, I'd love to get an affiliate link to support this YouTube channel. So another shout out for that. And then obviously keep shipping. Um, Hopefully we're in a better state than we were last year at this time. Last year at this time, there were miners that uh, were uh, ordered and on their way, and then they got turned around um, and sent back to China for re rework. So, and then began six long months of waiting for miners. So it was it was a tough tough haul, and I know all, uh, many of the, you are still out there waiting for your miners. Um, so. There is a there is a timeline here. It's exciting to see this develop, and um, if you th think about data offload partners, uh, one more thing on that is that you want to look up MNO versus MNVO, MVNO. Sorry, uh, and that's going to tell you what. Um, and, and like I said, I'll I'll go into uh, another video on that here in the near future. But that's going to be these partners that that if you've heard these things at all, that's what the partners mean. So and I won't go into that in this video. So stay tuned and you'll see another video soon on that one. So hope that helps. Um, as always in these videos, if you have any questions, please comment below. If I've made mistakes, I totally appreciate you calling those out and I'll correct them in a pinned comment below. So always check that. Always, always, always. And of course, the usual like and subscribe. Really appreciate your viewership and also checking out this guy. Give you another look at that since this focus is a lot better. So good times. Good times. Thank you, FreedomFi. Thank you, Helium. Let's go get it. Carpet and pestis, everyone.